Welcome to Customs of the Week, Season 3, Episode 8. What's up, guys? I'm Jason. This is Dylan. Welcome back, guys. Customs of the Week is a weekly segment where we showcase five amazing artists and their work. So first things first, we want to thank you guys for an amazing season. We're reaching the end of season three, and we're just seeing a ton of growth in this um, series. Absolutely. And the hashtag actually has seen a lot of growth, too. We're nearing 400 posts, so keep on using the hashtag. Two of the people we're featuring on today's episode is actually from the hashtag. So make sure you keep on using the hashtag and keep submitting your pictures to us. Yeah, man. Even the DMs and the emails have been absolutely flooded with you user submissions and it's super cool to see that that people are really mm -hmm. trying to earn a spot onto the series right. that's something we've always wanted to shoot for so it's really cool to see that happen so we have five really cool pairs lined up for today so let's go ahead and dive right in <laughs> Now, I don't know if this is the first customizer to actually do the pixel first, but this is the first time I've seen it, and I think it's it's amazing. I think we've seen the the, the burning switch before, mm -hmm. we've seen a glitch before, we've seen the sketched out one yeah. before, but I don't yeah. think I've ever seen the pixel, and I think mm -hmm. this is done really, really well. Yeah, I think it definitely does have like some similarities to mm -hmm. kind of like the glitch and stuff, but the pixel's done really well. If you do zoom in, you can see there's a lot of different tones of you know your blacks, your grays, your light grays, and that's how they achieve this effect. And I, I really like this trend of people, you know, keeping a really clean Air Force One mm -hmm. and just playing with the Swish because there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with it. And we're seeing a lot of artists get really creative with that. Right. And so here we have another artist giving their own kind of take of playing with the Nike Swoosh. They have this magma effect, but they let it go on to other parts of the shoe, which is really cool. It looks really great on the toe box. It looks awesome on this back tab. That Nike Air really pops right off of there. It really does make you think that, you know, stuff's on fire. There's molten lava or something. I think he did a really good job of capturing that effect with all these different tones. I think something that I really admire about this pair is his color blending. I think it's done really well, and that thing that that's what gives it that fire look, right? Yeah, like for a sure. lot of like cartoons and like animations like that separate the colors yeah. and give it like a fire look. Mm -hmm. But he did a really good job at making it kind of realistic in terms of color blending right. and just like the red being everywhere. Yeah. For sure. If you guys have been keeping up with us season one, you definitely recognize this style. It's by our guy Gato Value, and he, man, he killed these. I saw when he first posted the rendering of these on yeah. Photoshop, yeah. and he actually made this like, an actual shoe. Um, I'm pretty sure he got it posted quite over all over Instagram, so really great job yeah, marketing these You guys too. definitely should have seen these, and what an awesome base. Our third Air Force One already for the day, the all wheat base, and then just playing with the Swish again, you know what I mean? Deconstructing it and then placing it in a different area, and then adding a bunch of his own characters as a few extra additional Swishes. Mm -hmm. His color palette just really pops right off of this wheat, so man, these are awesome. I'd love to have a pair of these. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Man, oh man, do these take me back. Jason, you gotta throw some music over this with some of those arrows and stuff. These are awesome. I think that the colors on here just really pop. It really has that DDR feel, because you remember yeah. how colorful the game was. Mm -hmm. It was typically in an arcade that you played this and stuff. Right. They did their thing with the swoosh and the arrows, so really creative, and definitely, I don't think I've ever seen a DDR-themed shoe before. No, I think you touched on everything, even the whole, like, the text, the combo is the perfect, it kind right. of fits the whole theme, obviously. Yeah. The arrows, like you said, it's amazing because it's a play on the swoosh. Just killed the shoe entirely. For sure. <laughs> So what I think I like about most about this custom is that he did a really good job of separation. The shoe typically doesn't have that many panels, but he really made it look like it had 20 plus panels. The separation of colors, mm -hmm. different textures, mm -hmm. like he really killed it even with the detail on the shoe, it's amazing. This is a pair to me that just really speaks for itself and you just kind of got to look at, really digest everything that's mm -hmm. going on. There's so many cool different panels, patterns, and different styles of artwork happening here. Westbrook's been wearing some crazy shoes throughout the NBA season, so it's really cool and makes a lot of sense to deck out a pair of his shoes with just this, you know, awesome scheme that Miz came up with. So super well, super well done job here. So that was our top five customs of the week. Make sure you comment down below which one's your favorite of the week. And as always, head over to the Instagrams and let them know where you came from. If you are interested in being on our weekly series, make sure you're using that hashtag customs of the week. 
You could also send us in any of your submissions via DM or email. We love seeing everything. The progress of this show has been awesome. I feel that our weekly submissions are getting a lot better, so the artists trying to get featured are getting better. So that's really cool to see. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the two other videos we posted last week. We had a two minute Tuesday video on a lightning tutorial, and then we had a really long, super detailed breakdown video on how you can paint a pair of Yeezys. We broke it down on what it takes to do it with a paintbrush and what it takes to do it with an airbrush also. So that was a really cool comparison video that we put a ton of effort into. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Make sure you have those notifications turned on so you don't miss a thing. Hit that little red subscribe button. Go ahead and give this video a like. We'd really appreciate it. And we will see you guys next week.